Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFroto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Volume Button. Yep, that's the name, Volume Button. Sometimes when you have a really simple app that works really well, you don't have to come up with some super fancy creative name. You can just call it what it is. Um, this is an awesome little app. Um, allows you to bring up a panel that has a volume sliders for every volume channel on your phone. And you can customize it to your liking by adding or moving the channels you do or don't want. Um, you can change the uh, uh, timeout for it to disappear. And if you pair it with an app like OmniSwipe, um, or even the app itself uh, has an option to add it to your notification panel, then that means you can have access to those volume channels regardless of uh, what you're doing or what app is open on your phone. And that's really awesome. So let's hop on my phone. I'm gonna show you uh, what the app does, how it works, and why I think it's something you should definitely add to your phone. So here we are on my home screen, and there's a volume button right there. You can see it has a little icon that has the uh, little uh, volume sliders on it, which is great because that's exactly what it is and what it does. Um, I have another app that has volume sliders as part of that app, and a lot of people ask me, where did you get those volume sliders? Where did you get those volume sliders? Um, but you'd have to get that whole app. This I love because it's very small, um, simple, and just does what it does and does it well. So let's step on that so you can see exactly what it does. There you go. You have sliders to adjust every channel uh, that you want and then it'll time out after about three seconds it'll go away automatically um, of course if you hit the back button then that would take it away right away so uh, it does go away after three seconds that's because that's what I have it set up to do and you can do it different ways you can set the light and dark theme you can have a persistent notification so that it will stay in your notification drop downs so that you can access it that way if you want to you can have a status bar icon. So if it's a persistent notification and you have that checked, you'll have a little icon up there in your status bar. Um, but what's awesome, you can customize it. So if you don't want all these channels, you just want some of them, you can uh, select and deselect to have the combination that you want for your volume panel, which is really, really cool. Um, you can change the timeout duration. It's set at three seconds right now, but you can change it. You can run on uh, device reboot and you can child uh, lock it if you have kids and that's a concern for you. Um, and that's really all there is because, hey, it's simple, it does what you want it to do, um, and it's great. Um, the best, simplest uh, volume level changer I, I have found. Um, what's cool, I have it attached to OmniSwipe, which used to be called Lazy Swipe, and I reviewed before, which anywhere I am, I can always go into this and there's that volume control. And that works no matter what app I'm in. So for example, if I open Watch ESPN and uh, maybe the uh, uh, volume levels uh, aren't what I want them to be, uh, my media is low, I can press that, get immediate access to change the volume levels what I want them to be uh, really simply. So uh, combining this or using this on OmniSwipe is a to me, a no-brainer because um, volume levels are something you always want easy access to and it just works really, really great. So as you can see, Volume Button is a really awesome app. I mean, it's simple. It's very simple, but it does something great. Um, I have another app, Widgetsoid, which has a volume panel much like this one, uh, but it's an app that does a whole bunch of other things as well. Anytime I use that volume panel during a tutorial or one of my other reviews, I'd always get people asking me, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that volume panel? And with volume, uh, volume button app, you get it. You don't, and you don't have to have anything else. If that's all you need, then that it, it has it and it's perfect, it works great. I love the fact that it's very customizable, has all the features and functions you want uh, in an app that does what it does. And there's not much more you could ask for. Pair it with an app like OmniSwipe uh, or add it to your notifications and you have access to it anywhere you are on your phone, which is great. So I highly recommend you check it out in the Play Store. Of course, we'll have the link in the description. 
Anyway, that's it for this review. If you liked this review, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with future reviews. Uh, I have over 200 Android app reviews uh, and I only review the really the best apps that help you get the best use out of your phone. So if you watch those, you'll find out other great apps that will uh, uh, really enhance your phone. I also have a product uh, playlist, product review playlist where I review uh, household products, dog products, appliances, uh, lots of electronics, gadgets, and phone and tablet accessories. So be sure to check out that playlist. And if you really want to get serious about customizing uh, and automating your Android phone, then check out my Tasker tutorial series and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's going to be it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.